Hello children, already you started practicing arithmetic progression. I am going to continue arithmetic progression. Third main. In first exercise, third main I am going to solve today. Already you know arithmetic progression general formula and nth term of an AP. Children tell me what is the general form of an AP. General form of an AP is a, A plus B, A plus 2D, etc. It continues. And nth term of an AP is A n is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. This third main we have to solve by using these two formulas. Third main heading is in the following APs. First exercise, third main. Second exercise, third main. 1 comma 2 exercise, third main. Question is in the following APs, in the following APs, in the following APs, find the missing terms in the boxes. Then first term we can represent 
by A and second term we can represent by A plus B. Third term we can represent by A plus 2D. When we know these two values, we have seen this two variables are there but already we know the value of A as 2. So I can substitute in place of A 2, then I can find out B value. So after knowing the value of B, I got the value of B. Substitute the value of A and simplify 2D. D value I want is 2D. Which value, which variable value I can find out? That should be one side and the remaining term should be one side. So D should be one side and the remaining term should be one side. This, uh, this 2 I take it that side. Then it becomes minus 2. Then 26 minus 2 is 24. 2D is equal to 24. Then D value if you divide D is equal to 24 divided by 2. 2 1 is 2 plus 24. D value I got it 12. After knowing the value of A and D, the second term it becomes A plus D. That is 2 plus 12. It becomes 14. Then that is the answer for second blank. The second question in this is copy children. Copy down this one. Copy. Or you copy this one. Please take a notebook and pen and write. Thank you. Practice. I am going to drop this first question. And the second question I am going to write now. Second question is. Now, so I will find out another variable that A 
key value also I want because that is under first term and the third term. To find out first term A value I should know and to find out the third term I want the A value also and D value also. So I got the value of one variable that is D. So I can find out when I know one variable I can substitute in any one of this equation. I can substitute and I can find out A value. Substitute now in this A plus B is equal to 30. Substitute this D value in this. A P D value minus D equal to 30. So A is equal to 13. When this minus 5, if it comes to side, it becomes plus 5. Then A value is A K. So A is A K and D is minus 5. So I got these two values. Then easily I can find out A to A to the blank box is what I want. A value I want. So A value is I got the value of A as 18. So uh, one box is be filled. And the third box I find I can simplify first A plus 2D. A value is 18, I want it. Substitute here. And 2D, 2D into D is minus 5. Then I get 18 minus 10. Minus is plus minus. Multiply and subtract. 18 minus 10 is 8. So I feel third blank also, that is box also, as 8. We got it 8. In this manner, we had to simplify by using general form of NAP and we have to fill the blank which they have given blank we have to fill up by solving like this way. Please see the copy. Copy now. And we have to copy down in our notebook. Next we will go for third fill in the blank. Third question. Over children. Okay. Next time I am going to fill the third question I am going to write now. That is in the same manner. Or you copy. Same. To make it denominator same, we 
are multiplying pi pi one by many times pi by one. Pi by one means nothing but same pi one. So pi by one, and to make it same denominator, I multiply both numerator and denominator by two. If I multiply, then it becomes ten pi two. Then two nineteen minus ten is nine. D is equal to nine by two. D value I want means D is equal to both the side I can divide by three then. So if I divide by three both the side, your three three will get cancel. Nine by two by three means it becomes D is equal to how you how will divide the fraction? Numerator as seen to right, and you change division sign to multiplication sign. Your three by one means three means three by one. So right reciprocal of that. Then D value becomes nine on the nine. Divided by two in the six. D value I got it nine by six. After getting the value of D nine by six, we know now A value as five and D value as nine by six. So three three is a nine and three two is a six. If I cancel, I get three by two. So simplest form three by two I got it. Three by two. A A value we know and D value. Then I can handle second term. That is second term is equal to a plus b. A plus b means substitute the value of a in the a. Five plus three by two. Take a sum here also. Then it becomes two by two. Ten by two and this is three by two. It becomes thirteen by two. So second term what I can do is substitute here. Thirteen by thirteen by two you can convert in the form of a mixed fraction also. Two six are twelve, one by two. So we can write it here second term as six one by two. In the same manner I can find the third term also. Third term how I can find it? Can I write? Can I write please? Now I am going to solve for third term. A value you know and B value you know. I can find out third term. See, children, copy down. They give blank to blank. Then by using the known value, we can find out unknown value by using each other form of A. Can I continue now? Copy and write. Here will be. We know now A value and B value. Third term it is nothing but third term is nothing but a plus two b. A plus two b. A value is five and d value is d by two. Substitute two to get cancel. A becomes so third term I got it h. So we have to fill up the blank in this manner. Children, please practice. Now this will tell you maths and the basic operation you know you should know. How to divide the fraction? How to multiply the fraction? And uh, you should know how to add the fraction or not. Okay, children, write it please. Write this sum, this one. Is that it? Pause.